Hey everyone, I got before me the ROG Zephyrus G14 with its brilliant anime matrix display. This light up lid is just brimming with customizable possibilities, so why don't we take a deep dive into the software so we can learn how to make this ROG Zephyrus our own. All the settings for the anime matrix display can be found in the ROG Armory Crate software, so make sure yours is up to date and start it up. Click on the Devices tab on the left and select Anime Matrix. Here you can see all the controls for the display. Up here we have the tabs for Animation Mode, System Mode, Audio Mode, and Preference Settings. Animation Mode allows you to have images, GIFs, and text shown on your Anime Matrix display. System Mode will display your PC alerts on the lid such as time and battery status. Audio mode has a music visualizer function. Preference settings allows you to adjust the anime matrix settings such as battery and when to turn it on and off. Let's start in animation mode. This is the canvas where you can preview and modify graphics. Directly above it is a toolbar for importing images, altering image size, a rotation tool, toggling animation loops, and adjusting animation speed. Below is a timeline where you can arrange graphics, adjust their length, delete all images on the timeline, and save a timeline. Over here are tabs for animation settings, the content library, and text effects. In the animation settings tab, you can make fine-tune adjustments to an image. You can delay when an image starts, adjust the contrast, and set the brightness. This is useful for bringing out the details in an image or flatten them out to turn it into a silhouette. Content Library is where you'll find the preloaded ROG images as well as your own imported content and saved timelines. Text Effects is where you can add and adjust text. Select the number of text rows you want and type your message. There are a number of settings you can adjust to your liking, such as font, size, and rotation speed. We'll drag this ROG eye animation onto the canvas. Then, I'll import a GIF from my library by clicking the Import button. You'll see that a preview of the animation will play on the canvas and an icon will appear on the timeline. With that GIF imported, I can adjust its position, orientation, size, and speed of the animation. On the timeline, I can adjust the length of each animation, set individual animations to loop, and set how many times an animation will loop. The buttons down here allow you to control the animation preview on your canvas. You can start the preview by clicking the play button and jump around using the next and previous animation buttons. To clear your canvas, you simply click the trash can icon. If you want to save a timeline, you click the save icon. This will add the timeline to your content library where you have quick access to it. Up at the top, we can explore the other anime matrix modes like the system mode. Here we can have the display light up to alert you of incoming mail, the time, battery level, and the date. The audio mode allows you to show off your music like never before. Choose an audio visualizer you want to display and select your audio device. On the lid, you'll get a cool light show to go with your music or other audio. You can also combine the audio visualizer with text. Lastly, we have the preference settings. It allows you to toggle the anime matrix display on and off, as well as adjust power and sleep options. It's really easy to get amazing results when you're customizing your anime matrix display. So I can't wait to see all the creative ways people decorate their G14s. So make sure you share your lighting creations with the world. And also be sure to like and subscribe for more content from ROG. Thanks for watching.